Hey everyone, so today we got up at 4.45 a.m. to catch a 45 minute flight here to Ketchikan, Alaska. After landing at the Ketchikan airport, we took a ferry over to the mainland of Ketchikan. The airport is on a small little island and then you have to use a ferry to get across to where all of downtown Ketchikan is. So then from that ferry, we took a taxi down to downtown Ketchikan. Ketchikan is known for its abundant wildlife as well as the history here. For thousands of years, Native Alaskans have lived here. There's totem poles that we're gonna be checking out later today. It's also Alaska's first city and the salmon capital. Right now we are on the boardwalk right next to the port. And we're gonna check out these ships, some of these downtown shops as we head to check into our Airbnb. Here we have the kitchen. I'm super excited that there's coffee. Fridge, nice living room with a TV, bedroom. We got super lucky because this one is within walking distance of downtown. Has pretty nice view. Now we are gonna go put our bags down and head downtown to start checking things out. But first, grab some lunch. I am so excited to try out the fish house and I've wanted to check it out for so long now. So here we go. Now we're at the fish house and we got two different meals. We got the halibut fish tacos and then we also got the Alaska fish and chip sampler, which includes a piece of halibut, a piece of rockfish, and a piece of salmon. So we are ready to dig in. So Creek Street is an unusual destination. All these houses here are built on stilts over a tidal waterway. This used to be the red light district in the mid 1900s. Um, so yeah, we're gonna check it out. Now it's a bunch of cute gift shops where all the tourists like to stop here in Ketchikan. Next, we're at the Totem Heritage Center, which is a museum about 15 minutes from downtown. We just walked here along the creek, super pretty. We even saw someone catch a fish, which was really fun. So now we're gonna go check it out. Next up, we are headed to our kayak trip for the afternoon. It started raining again, which is to be expected with 229 days on average a year of rainfall, but here goes nothing. Did that hurt it? Nope. The nice thing about these intertidal creatures is they're out of the water for like, you know, half the day. So we can just like, they're really tough. They're used to being exposed. Softer, they have a different defense mechanism, um, and it's actually been skin a little bit. I'm gonna smell it. This is the sea cucumber. Mm -hmm. Sea cucumber, yum. <laughs> right now, it's like really tensed up, but when oh, it's yeah. when it's relaxed and like feeding, it, I, that one was about this long. And then it they get bigger. Oh. Yeah. That's just right. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know that? Um, the mouth has like these little like weird tentacle mm. things. Um, and so it basically just like goes around and it'll eat um, detritus like dead and decaying things. Wow. Uh, and actually the stuff that goes 
in its mouth is dirty and then the stuff that goes out. So it'll really? Out like clean sand. Does it purifies it yeah, through that exactly. oil? That's our vacuum cleaner. That's why our oceans are so cool. So like I said, it's related to the sea, sea star and sea urchin. Um, and they all, all are pentaradially symmetric. So they are um, they have five symmetrical pieces radiating out from the center like a sea star. Um, except this one is pentaradially symmetric from like like vertically. So really? Five segments are kind of like, you know, it would be like looking at it from this way. Yeah. Like, so you can kind of slice it this way and then you have five blades. So we just stepped outside of our Airbnb after freshening up our sea kayak tour was so much fun. We got to go out and we saw some whales, tons of starfish. I was happy when we saw one starfish and then by the end of the tour we had seen thousands so of starfish. Yeah. Um, we saw sea anemones, a bunch of other low tide creatures. So it was really cool to get out on the water. Highly recommend checking that out. We use Ketchikan Kayaking Company and they were so good. We definitely recommend them. Um, the tour guide was super informational and honestly it just felt like we were out there with a friend as he was guiding us around and showing us everything. It was so much fun. We are going to head back downtown. It's about half a mile. We're going to go walk and find some food. up at the Saxman Totem Pool Park. With the bus schedule, we knew we either had 20 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes. And so we're opting for the 20 minutes. We saw the totem poles and yeah, now we're just gonna head back into town. So we just got back to the Ketchikan International Airport. 
after having had a pretty rainy day today, but we still got to go to a couple different areas and check out more Ketchikan. We hope this will inspire your next trip to Ketchikan. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.